In this video, I'm going to show you how to answer the 2023 Maths Method Sample Exam 2 Question 2. We've got Newton's method is being used to approximate the non-zero x-intercept of the function with the equation f of x. An initial estimate of x0 equals 1 is used. Which one of the following gives the first estimate that would correctly approximate the intercept to three decimal places? The first thing we need to do here is find out what is the non-zero x-intercept of f of x. And so using the calculator, we can work this out. First, we'll need to define f of x, as we're going to be using this later on when we're using the Newton's methods formula. Now, to find where the x-intercept is, we let f of x equal 0 and then solve for x. And so the non-zero x-intercept is going to be 1.90365. Now to find the x-intercept using Newton's method, we have to use this formula. To find the x-intercept using this formula is repetitive and time-consuming, because we have to work out x of 1, then x of 2, then x of 3, and so on. So here's the fastest way that you can answer this question. What you want to do is define this as a function, and so let's call this n of x. And so this is going to be x minus f of x divided by f dash of x. Now instead of working out x of 1, x of 2, and x of 3, and so on, one at a time, we can use what is called nests, which allows us to calculate many iterations at once. And so looking at the options, we want to do this at least six times. And so we write this as n of, n of, n of, n of, n of, that's five times, and then n of, and then this is going to be the sixth time. And the sixth time, we put in the starting point, where x0 is equal to 1. And so this is going to calculate six iterations all at once. From here, we'll need to define n of x in the calculator. And now we can work out six iterations all at once. And the trick here is to write the insidemost function as n of 1.0, meaning in decimal form. Because if you just write 1, what's going to happen is the calculator is going to try to work out the answer in exact form. And if you do too many iterations at once, the calculator is going to crash. And so after 6 iterations, we're going to get the x-intercept approximated to 1.96017. Which means we need to try again. And so if we do n of the answer, this is going to give us x7. And so this is equal to 1.90564, which is still not the x-intercept. And so if we repeat this again to get x of 8, this is equal to 1.90366. And so this is correctly approximating the x-intercept to three decimal places. And so the answer is going to be option C. And that's it for this question. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, comment below and let me know. And consider joining the Maths Methods Club, where you can see video solutions to all past Maths Methods exam questions from 2006 where all the questions are grouped by topic.